So this lesson is about word problems that involve area and perimeter of plane shapes. We will look at perimeter, just review the perimeter, review area, and then we'll go ahead and solve some word problems. The perimeter is the distance around a two-dimensional object. Sometimes it's also seen as the boundary of the object. So here, with this object, the rectangle, the square, and the triangle, we have uh, the perimeter in a very darkened, uh, thick black lines to represent the perimeter. The area is the size of the surface of an object, and the area is inside the object, the perimeter is outside of the object, the boundary of the object, the area is inside of the object, the surface of the two-dimensional object. Now let's look at some word problems. So Teresa wants new carpeting for her family room. Her family room is a 27 foot by 32 foot rectangle. How much carpeting does she need to buy to cover the entire room? Okay, one of the best practices as you deal with um, word problems that involve area and perimeter is to draw what you think the question is asking for so it's easy to see the best approach to take so we have a rectangle so a rectangle so this represents the room it's 27 feet by 32 and we're told here that the carpeting must cover the entire room so because it's in the surface or rather it's on the surface right here so we're dealing with the area so the area of a rectangle is length multiplied by width which here is going to be 32 feet multiplied by 27 feet when you multiply this out you should get 864 square feet of carpet that will be required to fill up the room. Next question. Before soccer practice, Laura warms up by jogging around the field that is 75 feet, 75 yards by 132 yards. How many yards does she jog if she goes around the field four times? Okay, so we have a field. It's going to be it's a rectangular field. So we have 132 yards and we have 75 yards. So we're told that she jogs around the field. So we can see she jogs around the field. So in this case, we have the case of a perimeter. So the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 multiplied by the sum of the length and the width. So let's look for the perimeter of one lap around the field. So this is going to be 2 multiplied by the sum of 132 plus 75 yards. 132 plus 75, that will give us 207. So this is going to be 2 multiplied by 207 yards. So this is going to be 414 yards. But it's important to note here that she does 4 laps. So she jogs around the field 4 times. So the number of yards she will travel is going to be multiplied by 4, which is going to be 1,000. 656 yards. So this is how many yards she's going to travel four times around that specific soccer practice field. So Sandra wants to install new carpet in her living room. The room is the room length is 16 feet and the width is 20 feet. If the carpet if the cost of the carpet is $4.50 per square foot, what will be the total cost? to carpet Betty's living room. 
or Sandra's living room rather. So let's start off by drawing out the room. The room is going to be a 16 by 20 room. We've got 20 feet here and we got 16 feet right here. Now we want a carpet, we want to install carpet, so we're going to cover this surface of the room. So we have area is equal to length multiplied by width, which is 20 multiplied by 16, and that gives us 320 square feet. Now, we are told that one square foot costs $4.50, so one square foot is four dollars and fifty cents. Three hundred and twenty square foot will now be four dollar fifty per square foot per square foot multiplied by three hundred and twenty square feet, which is going to give us if you multiply this out, it should give us. $1,440 as the cost to carpet that living room. So here we're told that the perimeter of a rectangular playground is 46 meters. So let's draw a playground. Perimeter is 46. So the length of the park is 7 meters. So we have 7 meters. Perimeter is 46 meters. What is the width of the park? So the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 multiplied by length plus width. So let's substitute in 46 meters is 2 multiplied by 7 plus width. And that's in meters. So we divide both sides by 2. To get rid of the parent, to get rid of the multiplier here, so we have 23 meters is 7 meters plus w meters. So what we do here to find the value of the width, so 23 minus 7 is equal to w. So the width is 16 meters.